doing for a long time. And once I written, uh, write down the script, I look at, okay, which actor has the capability or which actor will look best in this part uh, uh, for this character. If he's a Malayali, he's a Malayali. If he's a Bengali, he's a Bengali. If he's a Marathi, he's a Marathi. I just approach the actor and say, see, this is the script that I have. This is the role that I have. Would you be interested? Right? Of course, I uh, I can't deny the fact Bahubali behind me will help a lot. That I, I, I can't deny the fact, but I, I don't uh, go with the uh, visiting art of Bahubali. I go with the visiting art of my script and my character, uh, characterizations. And that's what helped me uh, so long. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, sir. Hello, sir. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, this is Nikita from India Forum. So my question is, uh, how difficult or easy was the decision to release the films in theaters and not on OTT? Because you know we were not sure that the pandemic will be over, will be over. So you know there there would be a dilemma to release it in the theaters or OTT. So how was the decision for you? How difficult was it or how easy was it? It was very very easy. I don't make uh, I I make films only for theaters. No, I I make films for uh, audiences to come together, watch the film together. The experiences that that I have learned from my childhood uh, uh, till date, and uh, the way I operate, the way my mind thinks is like for the audiences sitting in one close space, a large number of audience sitting in one close space, and uh, uh, and uh, experiencing the emotions that I show on screen. That's how my mind works. So that's the only way I look at it. So it is quite easy for me. There is no dilemma in that. Can I add something to that? Uh, uh, before the pandemic, the, the journey of any content has always been theatrical, and then it goes to other platforms. Because theatrical sets a quantitative and a qualitative benchmark for any movie. So you get to know how it did and how was the word of mouth. Then the other journey starts happening of monetizing it on other platforms. So theatrical, not because I run cinemas, still represents good sixty to seventy percent of uh, uh, you know movie collections revenues. and it's it's a active experience it's not a passive experience so you are going out of your comfort zone and getting to a cinema car parking and then watching a movie and when rajmuli sir makes a movie like this he appreciates the fact that people are getting out of their homes so therefore it has to be something which is made for the big screen so i think uh, ott theatrical is not a either an or thing they were they've always coexisted obviously the volume became very high <laughs> because cinemas were shut and accentuated but post the pandemic i hope we are in post pandemic and has become an endemic it will again coexist very happily they'll coexist there is no either or situation at all absolutely i i second that um, uh, if you remember in the 90s when the star network uh, uh, came to india and everyone was saying this is the end of cinemas no because they are the people will be spoiled for choice they have so many films that are going to run on television uh, the films are going to shut forever uh, but no uh, it had its own audience television industry exists it does very well the film industry and the theater uh, business exists as well it continues uh, uh, continues to do well of course every uh, medium has its own challenges uh, and all of them coexist the same way the ott is also going to coexist along with the television industry and the, and the film industry Uh, Rajmouli sir, nice. a small uh, interjection with your permission, Mr. Bidli. There was this earlier question about fifty percent restriction. Right. If you could address it, because there's oh, confusion yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. There is confusion. This only that uh, most of the states have announced hundred percent now. So even Delhi announced yesterday. Gujarat announced yesterday. Telangana has been hundred percent, and it's a matter of time. Where by the time, by the way, this movie comes seven January. I'm God willing. I think everything will be at hundred percent. Rajmouli sir. Hi, this side. Hi. So uh, this is Siddhi from Asia Net News. Uh, my question is: for the first time, you know, uh, you collaborated like with Alia Junior and Tiara, and like you know, different celebrities. We have seen celebrities from the Hindi cinema and the South coming together. So, how was your experience working with them, and uh, what were the challenges that you faced, you know, during the shooting of the film, like knowing that the pandemic was there as well? uh working with the uh, uh stars has been quite easy for me uh, uh because they are thorough professionals uh they know what to do they learn their lines they uh, they look to the director to do uh, uh, what what he wants uh, like if i talk about uh, uh, ajay sir he was like uh, 
he doesn't even go into the caravan he just sits just outside the peripheral of the shooting area and just sits uh, sits there looking at me continuously just if i just look at him do you want me sir and he comes onto the onto the shooting location and uh, uh, alia was like she she was buggering the direction department to get her lines much before so so she can you know uh, 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 get her lines right to get her diction right uh, uh, they were thorough professional so i didn't have any kind of uh, difficulty and uh, uh, charan and uh, tarak are my my friends my brothers i had i had known them for for 15 20 years now and we, there was no difficulty in working with them it, working in the pandemic time pandemic times it had uh, it had its its challenges uh, uh, maintaining the distance in the initial stages of uh, getting back onto the shoot maintaining the uh, distances maintaining the the masks Uh, making people aware of the protocols and you know but like i said those are the things that you have to do and you have to do it that's it uh, uh, so uh, we just figure out how to go about it and we go about it so uh, otherwise if i had to shoot 20 25 shots in a day because of all this restrictions probably i was shooting 15 20 shots a day uh, that's the only thing otherwise it was fine hi sir uh, samina here from times of india hello yes please So, what excites you, and what encourages you to make a period drama? Because it's a very lengthy film, also. We did with Bahubali, also. We had to like wait for to see the second uh, version, also. So, what excites you the most for that? What excites me most? This is the question I was asked most of the times. And uh, what really excites me is, if you look at it, is finally when my film comes onto the screen, uh, uh, the way the audience react. to the uh, emotions that are displayed on the screen uh, that is what excites me excites me most that is the reason why i make the films i just want to see the reactions of the audiences i want to i i mean when we write the story when we are making the uh, film we have certain expectations of how the audiences are going to react to certain scenes or certain song or a fight uh, just to see it coming true you know the realization yes we we achieved what we wanted to Uh, that is the sole uh, reason that is a driving point for me to make a film ajay ji do aur sawal lenge hum ha ji ji ajay ji jaisa ki sir ne kaha hai ki wo differentiate nahi karte bangali ya phir south ya kisi ko bhi lekin agar aap theater wise dekhe to 60% jo theaters hain wo south ko belong karte hain to unme to 100% है कि श्योरिटी है कि फुल जाएंगे लेकिन रेस्ट ऑफ द जो स्टेट्स है वहां आपका प्रिडिक्शन क्या काम करता है क्योंकि जैसा हमने देखा है वो बहुत ही जबरदस्त है तो आपको क्या लगता है कि जो साउथ के अलावा जो और स्टेट्स हैं वहां पर ये फिल्म किस तरह से नहीं जैसे राजमौली सर ने बोला कि वो इंडियन ऑडियंस को सेग्रीगेट नहीं करती विद इन रीजन्स वो ऐसी एक स्टोरी कहानी बना बताना चाहते हैं जो सबको सबके साथ रेजोनेट करे तो मुझे लगता है सारी पिक्चर जैसे बाहुबली भी थी वो भी हर जगह एवरी पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री इट इट वेल एंड आई थिंक बाय लुकिंग एट दिस ट्रेलर ही यूज द वर्ड एक्साइटिंग इवन आई एम गॉट वेरी एक्साइटेड वेरी सेल एवरीवेयर एस एस कारू वेलकम टू मुंबई बाकुंड a biopic of the of the uh, the heroes you know that's the time when uh, people come up with this uh, with this kind of uh, allegations or whatever uh, but from the beginning we are uh, we are very clear that this is completely fictional uh, none of the uh, uh, the scenes or whatever you see in the film are not actually a part of their actual lives right it is It, it is like I took the lives of these super uh, superheroes, real time, real life superheroes.